Okay, guys, we have our viewer Till in the red pants gonna use his Wing Chun. So, there's different branches of Wing Chun in Europe. I don't remember which branch, so just I apologize. But look at that. He's got a different stance and he's holding his hands differently. See, notice his hands are at his chest level. But man, he's really good at initiating the clinch, right? Because obviously trapping range is clinch range. So, Till started out, Red Pants Wing Chun guy started out with sort of almost a knee pointed inward type of thing, but he dropped that now. But, lots of kicks to the body and to the leg. Dude, he's connecting with his punches. Look at that. Wow. So, um, Till sent this to me in batches, so if there's a little bit of a cut in some of the footage, that's why. So, obviously my only gripe with how Till is holding his hand is besides the fact that it might be a little harder to protect your face like that, is that, are you launching the punches at the full power level, I guess? I don't know. Um, so, it's in this range where we could see some more Wing Chun. So, this is an MMA match, guys, so I wonder. Dude, he's grabbing the cage. You see him? Dude, what's the ref doing? Dude, this guy's grabbing the cage. What's the ref doing? That was ridiculous. Dude, that ref was sleeping, man. That was ridiculous. I cannot believe we just saw that. Wow, but yeah, um, definitely this round is going very, very much too Till, so look at that. You can tell his opponent's getting a little bit frustrated. So swinging for the fences. Um, very, very. I love the crisp punches that Dill's given. Right, it might not hurt as much as like a boxer punch, but a hundred of these to his face will still mess him up, man. So it's a volume thing, right? I'm not saying Till's punches don't have strength. Okay, don't misinterpret me, but. He's definitely peppering, right, in a different way. And I like that he knows at certain distances he can throw elbows and forearms, right? Just a lot of Wing Chun people who don't spar, who've never stepped into the ring, very quickly they just lose all their skill because, again, they don't understand ranges, right? Especially when the other guy's also trying to find his or her range. So, dude, I love the... I, I love the um, almost forearm like strikes that um, Till is throwing. So the other thing you notice about Till is he's not afraid to be put against the cage. Oh, oh, nice exchange. Look at that. The opponent's a little dazed from that. Wow, I love this, man. Woo. Who, guys, who said Wing Chun doesn't have hooks also? Till's throwing a lot of Wing Chun hooks, man. And I guess I am answering my own question. Any potential lack of power is being replaced by a lot of volume. This fits really well with the theory of certain Wing Chun strikes, right? It's all about the volume. I think that was an amazing first round. Let's look at the second round. Okay, guys, here we go. So again, the opponent is barging in and Till's keeping him at bay with these... You call them, what do you call them, like clinch ray, dirty boxing range type punches, right? I guess that's a good way to describe it. So, now he's back in actual clinch. So, oof, that's the thing about holding his hands near his chest area, right? He is being vulnerable to um, hooks, which is something that I think anyone who's honest about Wing Chun knows. So, let us see if Till has any more things under his belt that he hasn't shown. Again, I love the forearms, man. I love the forearms. How horizontal the hook-like forearms are. Because if he misses, it's still a frame that can stop him in his path, right? And I had a Wing Chun guy teach me sort of a similar forearm type strike. Like, I'm telling you guys, Wing Chun has a lot of things to offer to the world, man. It's just so cringe how cultish. And unfortunately, as you guys know, oh, that was a great punch combo um donnie yen didn't even do wing chun when he filmed it Man, right so people's perceptions of wing chun just were so distorted by those movies oh dude opponent is so tired yeah a tail's a little tired too but man 
Till's at least landing shots, right? He just has to be careful. Okay, so um, as you guys heard from earlier, Till sent this to me in batches, right? So that was just a little repeat of what we just saw. But yeah, here we go. Back to the live action. Look at that. So Till's definitely winning this round, and he, he won first round too, right? So as long as Till keeps this up, just don't let our MMA guy have a burst of energy at the end and accidentally knock you down or anything. So, um, dude, great little stiff jab right there. Notice what Till's doing, right? He, I guess you could call it like a swivel jab, I believe. It's sometimes he'll he'll step, he'll he'll switch his stance and step into his jab, right? That's something that a lot of traditional styles emphasize. You know, they they don't want to just have you. Use your dominant side for the power strike, so to speak. So, oh, oh, okay. Are we going to see some ground action? MMA guy has taken the back. Till sort of just leaning on him like a couch. So, <laughs> dude, the, the ref's like, guys, come on, do something. <laughs> the ref didn't care earlier when the guy was grabbing the cage. I bet you the guy's grabbing the cage right now. We just can't see it. I bet you, right? The ref's just like, ah, I'm just going to sort of do the bare minimum. Um, oh, he told him to stop grabbing the cage. Oh, ref, you did your job for once. Good job. So, um, who knows? Maybe the ref is using the Italian or the Greek model, right? Do as bare minimum as possible. Again, you, oh, um, by the way, did you guys see that? Um, Till did a trap and a hit kind of thing or a block and a strike kind of thing. So, nice stiff jabs, man. So, this is another angle. So we can watch it from, I guess, this is another audience view. And wow, you actually, I guess because the frame rate is different, you actually see a little bit more explosive kind of thing here. It's pretty cool. So you do see, right, that in a clinch, it is much, you get hurt much more by a knee than like going to the body with punches. Not to say you can't hurt them with going to the body with punches, right? But... Um, yeah, the, the one thing, again, I know Till has a style and it's working for him mostly, but somehow maybe like you don't have to, you don't have to always keep your hands up. But maybe there's a way sometimes by default, don't keep them by the hips. Right. But then th keeping them by the hips does make it hard to see. So I don't know. Like there's so many paradigms to re-examine occasionally. Right. Like, obviously, there's a way that works for 90% of people, but Till could just be one of those people that just makes Wing Chun work. So, even the push kick, right? Just having his hands by his chest, I think, it reduces how much torque. Torque is the wrong word, but how much extension, extension is the right word, his, his leg can have when he's throwing the push kick. So, but again, I love those forearm elbow like strikes in the clinch range, dirty boxing range. So, I think from this angle, we're going to see if our big guy did grab the cage when he has Till. So, we'll see if the ref kind of slacked on the job. So, look at how tired he is. Those were the stiff jabs we saw. Oh, that was a, another good punch. So in a situation like this, if you're the losing side here, guys, what would you do? Let us know in the comments. What would you do if you were on the losing side? I feel like, again, the the uh, bigger um, love handles guy, I guess, really likes to likes to be the one pressing forward, right? But I was going to say maybe sort of like let him try to attack you more, but it's not really working either. Okay, let's see if we're going to see him grab the cage. Uh... Look at that, the ref's like, come on, get it, get moving. He's grabbing the cage right there, see, he's definitely grabbing the cage, see, he's grabbing the cage. He's grabbing the cage with his right arm. Not anymore. So, Till's controlling the left hand of our opponent, but he's definitely, he's definitely grabbing the cage with his right hand. So, look at that, man. Good job, Till, man. Look at that. Look at that. This guy's now doing the iron face. He's basically using his face to lead now. So, yeah. That's about it, man. End of the round, guys. Till one. I 
obviously how I titled this video might get some people to want to debate me, and that's fine. I welcome you to debate, but even better, send me some footage. Send me better Wing Chun, not tested against other Wing Chun, okay? Better Wing Chun tested in a scenario like this against another style, a more modern contemporary style. If you guys want me to interview Till again, make sure to let me know. If you haven't seen the first interview with him, make sure to check it out. Make sure to press subscribe, make sure to press a like, and make sure to leave a comment. Talk to you soon. Fight, comment, share, breakdowns out. Until, create a channel, show people more Wing Chun. Help us make Wing Chun great again.